Electronics. Hello, is this Willie? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Sensei Doug. I'm, I'm next door at the karate store. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was wondering, look, um, when, whenever you walk by, uh, you know, to come in your store, you're, you're just always looking at me. Can you just stop looking at me? I, are you kidding? No, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Well, it's just Okay, like, wait a second now. I feel threatened. Are you talking about, like, when I walk by your store? Yeah, you're just looking I, at me. I, I look inside your store? Yeah, you're looking at me. You're, like, looking straight at me and giving me this look, like you, you want to fight or something. And, I mean, I'm not the type of person to come out and just fight people. I know I know karate. I know hey, I could kick on, your ass on, and everything. Dude. Now, look. But... <laughs> I don't know where you got the idea that I'm looking at you, okay? But you're looking when at I me all the time. When I walk by there, I'm on my way somewhere else. I may look in through the through the door or something and just to see what's going on in there, but I'm not looking at anybody in particular. Oh, oh bullshit, you're and looking you at me. if you walked out the door right now, I wouldn't even recognize you. I don't pay that much attention. Oh, why are you always glaring at me then? You're just looking at me. like You're giving me this, this F you look. Well, I just cut it out. I have, I have no idea why you would feel that way, really. I, I think when you walk by my place, maybe you should turn your back to the to the store and walk sideways. I think you're full of crap. Well, now, who put you up to? No, that? you're you're the one that's doing this to me. I'm not full of I'm crap. I'm not doing anything to you, dude. I don't even know who you are. Well, then I wh- have no idea who you are. Well, do you just look at strangers like that? I'm not looking like, at anything in particular. Are, are you? Are you? Are you just? You just like to start crap with everyone around you. You know what? I haven't said a word to you. I don't know who you are. I know you don't say I, anything to me. You just look at me. Just look, give me that look. You just need to stop looking at me. You know, you. If you want to walk out front so I can see who you are. Oh, you know who I am. I'll make I, absolutely sure that I never look at your ass again. Oh, now you're gonna curse at me. You know, I don't I have will a problem never look with at your at your bottom again. I don't have a problem with anyone else on the street. You're the only one that's trying to start shit with me. Just looking at me I every time. I haven't tried you... to start shit with anybody. Now, you talk to Sensei Yaguchi and you tell him you have a problem with me. He told me I should call you. You know, I I'm still telling you. I don't even know who you are. I'm not looking at you. You look at me every single time you walk by. You just like look right in the window and just stare me down, like you're trying to trying to intimidate well, me. Well, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. You are I don't too. Even know who you are? You are too. And if you, if you keep it up, I'm going to call the police. I don't even well, care I, anymore. You know what? You better go ahead and do that. Because because I I shouldn't have to feel threatened at my job. I don't see why you should feel threatened. I don't know who you are. I, I, didn't, sens- I would not recognize you if I passed you on the street. You would, too, because you look at me every day when you walk by. You just look right in the window and, and give I me don't, this... I, I don't walk by every day. Every day that you do walk by, smartass. Oh, now you're going to cuss with me, huh? You just need to cut it out. Why don't you just cut it out? Why don't you just mind well, your own I, business? You know what? There, there's you no reason relax, our, dude. our businesses can't coexist. I'm not coexist. looking at you. I don't care what you do. You look at me all the time. I don't know time. who you are. I don't bear you any ill will. I don't know who you are. I you're, don't even know where this comes from. You're being passive aggressive. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you, you think, you know... You, you know, you're really starting to sound like somebody put you up to this. That sounds like a joke to me. Oh, it's a, it's a joke to you. It's not a joke to me. Because I'm just trying to do my job here. And, and you're just coming in and... And make, trying to make problems for in. everyone. I have never set foot in that building. Ever. I, you're walking up Not to the once. front and you're just looking at Not me. Not once in 22 years that I've been here next to that building have I ever set foot inside. Okay, it. fine. Every time you walk by in front, you're looking at me and you're trying to just start problems with the people here. I'm not trying to start problems with anybody. And you, want, you don't want to start problems with people that know karate, okay? That's exactly right. And I'm, I'm surprised that you couldn't figure that out. Well, maybe you should figure it out and stop doing it. Stop doing what you're doing. All right, let me lay something on you, my friend. Oh, go ahead. You're telling me that I'm trying to start shit with you. And you're sounding like you want to come kick my ass. No, I just want you to stop. Uh, Just cut it out. Let me put something on you, okay? Just stop. I'm 66. I got a pacemaker and a bad leg. Now, you think I'm trying to start shit with anybody? What, are you nuts? Well, that's why you're just being all passive-aggressive about it. I don't even know what passive-aggressive means. 
Well, you're obviously not that smart if you're trying to start problems with yes, people I'm not at the that karate smart, place. Okay, I must be fucking stupid. That's what it is. So why don't you just leave the fucking retard alone? Okay. 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 I'm done with you. Well, we'll stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god. This electronics. Oh, also, I forgot to ask. I need to get my flamethrower fixed. How much does that cost? You know, if you're who I think you are, you're making a bad fucking mistake. What do you... Who do you... Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W- what? R- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. <laughs> Turnwinder? Okay. Go, 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 shaw, go, 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 what the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. My wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. Bob Dabalina. Bob Dabalina. Bitch, asshole. I don't fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Heard, blinder? Fucked in the ass. This is episode 537 of the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad. Hey, everybody. What you doing? This episode's brought to you by Chris J, Todd L, Gobi, I Regret Jumping, and Jason B. Those are five of the many supporters over at patreon.com slash phone losers. Or, you know, on those other places you can support the show. We need to talk about that prank that I played on the beginning of today's show, the electronics store guy. I thought he was the original person who I introduced Sensei Doug to, but after looking at some dates and file names and stuff, I think that was actually the baby store, and Sensei Doug was a real person who worked in the same shopping center as the baby store. I thought it was the place next to the electronics store, but I'm wrong. Anyway, I just found out today that there is a documentary about Longmont Potion Castle. He's a prank caller. He's been around forever. He's put out a billion albums, and apparently nobody knows who he is. And the documentary actually has an interview with that guy, Willie. And I'm just going to play the first 30 seconds of this. It's got a prank call to Willie from Longmont Potion Castle, and then it has the interview portion with him. And it's on video and everything, so I'll put a link to this in the show notes. Why don't you s*** my fucking s***, man? I'll tear you fucking heart out if I get my hands, if I get my hands on you, you scumbag motherfucker. Sounds younger. Quit calling this number. You know, there's a lot of people that have been harassed by this guy. I mean, a lot. You know, enough for him to have six or seven albums full of it that he sells for money. You know, and I'm telling you, when this guy finally gets outed, somebody's going to beat that dude's ass. I hope it's me. Yeah, and then the rest of it is just a bunch of clips of people that are in the documentary. Apparently, Rain Wilson's in the documentary, and a bunch of musicians and stuff. So that's exciting. It's out already. It's playing at uh, independent film places and independent theaters and stuff. That'll be fun to watch once it comes out on the internet. Be sure to watch the trailer for that. The link is in the show notes. Once again, I need to say thank you to Ryan K. He sent me not only the autobiography of Mark Twain, like the most recent one, the one that Mark Twain would not let be released until 100 years after his death, so it didn't hurt anyone's feelings. It's been out for like eight years, and I never got around to reading it. But he sent me a tiny HDMI monitor that was on my wish list on Amazon, which I was planning to hook up uh, down in the kitchen to the answering machine shelf instead of the giant monitor I have hanging up there right now. 
I don't even know if I can read text on this tiny thing, though. And also, thank you to Cisco Kid. He sent me a few things around Christmas time, and I think I neglected to thank him on the last show. So thank you, Cisco Kid. There is a new Hobo Sode out. It came out earlier this week. And let me see if I can attempt to play a clip of it. It's 40 minutes long, and I think I know where a funny... Are you accusing me of this shit? It's not illegal to accuse you of shit, especially when you did it. I can't even remember what I accused this guy of. This is bullshit. I don't even know how to do... Like, what, What are you talking about? Yeah, you keep saying that, but just like you're a horrible actor. Oh, yeah, I accused him. Like, he sold a couch on Canadian Craigslist, and I said we brought it home, and we found a listening device embedded into the couch. And he was just freaking out for about 10 minutes, and I didn't do that. I don't know how to do that. Nice try. Why would I do that? I'm not even trying to be an actor. Well, that's good, because you would fail at being an actor. Don't ever try to go into acting. I don't want to. Well, that's good, because you're bad at it. It's just a bunch of ridiculous arguing. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Seriously, it's like... I've never, I would never fucking, what, I don't, wouldn't even know how to do that. So yeah, 40 minutes of that kind of stuff, me calling up people on Craigslist. There's this one part where I attempted to be both myself and Carol. Like one of us was on the extension phone and we were talking to this person about an apartment and that went badly and we got hung up on, but it was fun. Got to do that some more. You can listen to Hobo Sodes by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.org slash cactus. One last thing before we get started. The meetup is this week, basically. I mean, I am recording this on Sunday, and these are going to be calls from a live show that I did several days ago on Friday. But by the time you listen to this, the meetup in San Jose, California, it's going to be happening this week. It is on March 16th, and I still don't know if I can go. Hopefully, I'll find out by uh, Monday or, I don't know, really soon, so I can actually make preparations to leave i really hope i can go because dwight's gonna be there matt's gonna be there a bunch of other people wasted memory buster casey the super phone brothers dragon mirror buckshot nick caesar don fickles well i hope don fickles makes it he was in a car accident last week he's okay but his car's not but i bet you he'll still make it he better i want to meet don fickles that reminds me everyone needs to donate to don fickles gofundme account related to his car accident It's a good cause. Everyone should do that. And if you don't want to do that, you should at least go to his Kickstarter. He's making a new coin. And get yourself another coin to add to your coin collection. We're turning everyone into coin collectors around here. So make plans to drop everything you're doing and go to San Jose this coming weekend. The 16th is on a Saturday, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to hang around in a barcade or maybe a mall food court. We don't even know what the venue is like if the barcade's going to be suitable for hanging out in, because our place in Chicago is pretty much perfect. We put three tables together, and they let us hang out for six hours straight. I don't know if this place is going to be as good, but it is in a mall, so we can just go to the food court, take over every table in the food court, push them all together, and hang out all day for 12 hours at the mall. I'm sure they won't care. Maybe there's a furniture store in the mall. We can just push a bunch of couches together, put our feet up on the coffee tables. Anyway, it is time to start the show. This is a live show that I did on Friday night, kind of a late night show. Originally, it was about two and a half hours long. I managed to edit it down to about an hour and 17 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Radio Shack Storewide Manager's Red Tag Sale is on now. We've slashed prices 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. Save on famous Radio Shack Hi-Fi, car stereo, radios, toys, TV games, calculators, walkie-talkies, and CB radios. Look for the big red tag. Save like never before on these and literally hundreds of red tag specials. Hurry into Radio Shack today. Hey everybody, I am doing a show tonight. It's going to be a fun show. Um, I tried to do some of these calls earlier today and I couldn't get answers from anyone because it was like four in the afternoon or something. Uh, this is from a list that Austin sent me way back in, I think, 2017. It's a paper list on paper. So this is a list that Austin sent me. It's paper. He sent it to me in the mail. He also sent me a copy of How to Lose Weight the Patterson Way by Frank Patterson, a book that you can order on Amazon.com for a mere uh, 50 or $60. I don't know if it's still there. He pretty much just, uh, or I, I guess Austin, no, I think someone else did, and Austin ordered it. 
but I read that on camera. Read everyone the Frank Patterson book on camera. It's available only to Patreon people. You guys all missed out, but he's 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 been like bugging me. Okay, no, he hasn't been bugging me. I'm sorry, Austin. But he's been saying, hey, you know, I sent you that paper list, you know, three years ago or whatever. Or I guess it's been two years. So I'm finally going to use your list, Austin. Are you happy? Um, I'm not going to use it for what this says it is because these are like PTA board members. Instead, I mean, it's got their their names and their addresses and their phone numbers. I was thinking we could do some uh, True Green calls tonight. Uh, where this is, it is uh, eleven fourteen at night. And this might not go well. I was also thinking, you know, maybe we could just do some, uh, uh, you know, like what, what you dreaming about calls or I don't know what what else could we do late at night? Yeah, disturbed. I was actually. Um, I was looking for a bedtime story because I was thinking maybe I could try and read bedtime stories to some of these people if they want if if they really want to hang up just be like can I read you a bedtime story you know if I do the what are you dreaming about calls but uh, I think the bedtime story site that I found uh, I think it's the same one that had that horrible story about the heron and then you guys made fun of me forever for not knowing what a heron was. I could be wrong about that. It looks like the same, um, you know, just collection of shitty stories. They're called five minute stories. Storyberries.com. So yay, paper. Hello? Oh, hey, I hit the wrong volume. This is uh, Brad from T- True Green. You know the lawn company? You know, it's 11.16 p.m. I wouldn't call this late if it wasn't really important. I'm so sorry to call this late. Okay, and I'm so sorry, but I'm hanging up and you do not call again. No, ma'am, this is important. (laughs) Whatever. Sorry, the party you are trying to reach has not set up voicemail on. She's busy dialing star three, two. I'll read you all a bedtime story at the end of this show. Who is this? Hey, uh, this is Brad from Two Green. I was trying to tell her something really important. I wouldn't call this Where? late. If it, I wouldn't call this late if it wasn't really important. So we Excuse ac- me. Go. what? Okay, we accidentally sent one of our landscaping robots to your house, and it's on its way right now. It's going to cut your lawn right now. It, it, you know, it's it's autonomous, so it's going to show up there and it's going to start cutting. It's it's basically going to give your lawn the works. That's what this is. It's the works package, and you don't have to pay for it or anything because it's our mistake. But we don't have any way to recall it at this point. It's on its way. So I just wanted to apologize for that. It might be kind of loud out there. It's going to do the grass and the hedges and just everything. But if there's anything out there in your lawn, you might want to go out there and, you know, pick it up because it'll just mow over everything. So I I really am sorry to call so late. Sir? Yeah, I'm getting down something I can write down. Your contact (laughs) info. Oh, it's on your caller ID. Like, my phone number should have showed up, and I'm with True Green, the lawn service. My name's Brad. Yeah, fuck you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Guy's getting free lawn services, and that's how he treats me. Whatever. <laughs> King Richard says it can be disabled by saying freeze all motor functions. <laughs> uh, let, let me... I gotta get my uh, list out here, my computer list text file list (laughs) it looks like the last idea I wrote down on this same page was your twinkling X Christmas lights are flashing racist messages in Morse Morse code I think that's a Mr. Biggs idea actually alright so yeah we're off to a great start I got told fuck you Uh, on to page 3 I'm already on page 3 I wasted page 1 earlier today when nobody was picking up (laughs) <laughs> Devin wants me to use that idea tonight about racist Morse code messages. I wonder if I could tell someone to just take down their damn Christmas lights. Like, Jesus Christ, it's March, lady. 
Mr. Biggs wants me to tell them to turn back their clocks one hour tonight. But Mr. Biggs, I really want to convince someone that a robot's coming to their house. <laughs> All right, Parkman wants me to say there's robots coming to exterminate moles. <laughs> exterminate moles in their yard. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's coming to exterminate things. It's going to do it with lasers. Oh, they just picked up and hung up. Justin says an autonomous sprinkler lane robot. <laughs> uh, Nudu wants me to concrete their lawns. Hello? Uh, oh, hey there. This is Brad from True Green, the lawn company. Uh, yeah? I'm so sorry to call so late. Um, there's kind of a problem. One of our autonomous landscaping robots is on its way to, to your house. And it's going to be... Um, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Thank you. Well, that's why I'm telling you. Um, fuck. This is going to be the whole night. <sighs> Let me try one more time. <laughs> Hi, leave a message. All right. That guy's grouchy. Uh, stop having good ideas, everyone. You're, you're going to throw off my show. I'm messing everything up. So this list is actually from 2014. But so far, everyone's, you know, like their answer machines pick up and they say the right names. So for whatever reason, these people don't change their numbers a lot. So that's good. Right. This is Dorothy. See, that's the right name. Straight to voicemail. All right. Page five. Don't worry, Austin. I'm going to save these for, uh, you know, a, a day in the future. You know, in another two years, maybe I'll do the rest of these. You have reached the voicemail box of... No Look out, everyone. Dwight wants to fight with you. Be careful. He knows how to fight. He was starting shit with everyone in Chicago. He took a few swings at me. He was drunk. You guys know how he talks when he's drunk. He was doing that the whole time. Taking swings at everyone. Trying to fuck everything. He kept pooping. Pooping like in the hallways and stuff. Gotta watch out for Dwight. If you guys come to the San Jose thing... In exactly one week. The number you are trying to call is not reachable. PPS. What does that mean? It's not reachable? Hey there, uh, this is Brad from True Green. Is this Sonia? I'm, I'm sorry, is this Aisha? Yeah. Hey, I'm so sorry to call so late. Um, there's a small problem. Well. I'm sorry, what? I said well. It's hard to hear you. Um, one of our autonomous landscaping robots has... Mm -hmm. it, it's on its way to your house right now. And it's going to start doing yard work as soon as it gets there. And it's going mm -hmm. to spend about four hours there tonight. And I'm really sorry about this. We didn't... We, we put the wrong address in. At my house? Yeah, yeah, we put it at your house on Bertrand Drive. And why? How do you hear my voice? What? How did that happen? Uh, it's It was supposed to be for one of your neighbors that lives down the street a little bit. Do, yeah, do you know Roy? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be at okay. his house. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to okay. show up at your house, and it's going to be kind of loud. It's going to be out in your yard. We just didn't want you to be concerned, because there's no way for us to call it back. It's an autonomous robot okay. thing. Okay. Um, is your um, is your I, yard is your yard all cleaned up? Like, is it, there's not a bunch of trash out there? Is there? I don't. Th I don't think so. But we haven't cleaned. I mean, at least last month or so. But yeah. it's not much trash. I don't think. I don't know. Okay, because the robot yeah. might just mow it's right all. Snowing and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The snow's going to be gone. Okay. He's going to pick up all the snow. Mm. And then he's going to do the lawn. He's going to mm -hmm. do all the bushes. <laughs> yeah, let me tell my husband is downstairs. Okay, yeah, him. put your husband on, please. Uh -huh. No, he's, I'll have to tell him. He's what? Okay. He's Michelle. I'll have to tell him. Okay. Wait, he's what? Can you speak up? Stop mumbling. <laughs> I said I'll just have to tell my husband. Okay, yeah, yeah, just uh, don't go out there. Like, if, if you do go out in the yard while he's working, like, don't, don't, don't give him eye contact. Because he's going to be... Don't give who's going? The, the robot. It's just going to be a robot there. There's not going to be any people. It's just a machine that's going to come there. He's on his way right now. 
and he's just going to cut, mm-hmm. cut the grass and do the weeds and the bushes, and he's going to dig holes because he's going to be looking for moles. Mm-hmm. All right. That's going to be kind of a mess. And she hung up. Maybe this is a horrible idea. <laughs> Blackie says to turn off, turn her porch light on and off to distract the robot. <laughs> All right, yeah, may, maybe, maybe um, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm going to try a daylight savings, <laughs> Mr. Big's idea. My robot idea isn't going over that well. But you know what? I have another list in here, another paper list from Austin. Like, um, I only have two pages left of this one, or maybe three. No, two. Maybe the next list, though, will have more answers. That's what we've got to hope for. Robot stuck in a tree. Hi, it's Tara. I can't come to the. All right. Tara has a hyphenated last name. That means she's a handful. She's a high maintenance wife. Whenever you see someone with a hyphenated name, watch out. They're going to ask to speak to the manager. Because they're a strong, independent woman, and they don't need no man. Funk Physics wants me to say that the robot's going to be setting off explosives to combat ants. Yeah, maybe this is more of a summertime prank to do. You have reached the voice mailbox of 91... Justin's going to be doing an after show tonight as soon as I'm finished. Go to his... You have reached the voicemail box of... MixLR. He'll be doing a show. It's going to be great. In exactly 20 minutes when I quit. Quick, quick, everyone, everyone, friend Justin. Add Justin on here. He's going to do a show. He's going to call some Waffle Houses. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please... Ahmed, this is every show. Every show has just tons of ringing, tons of answering machines. It's always like this. Lots of people not picking up. But through the magic of editing, when I release this on the podcast, it's going to just seem like it just flows perfectly. Everyone's going to pick up because I remove all this stuff. It's a trick. My podcast is a big trick. Tricking you guys. Hello. Oh, hello? Hello. Leonard? Yes. Oh, you just picked right up. Hey, this is Brad from True Green. Yes. I- I'm so sorry to call this late. Yeah, it is a bit late. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, it, one of our uh, autonomous uh, landscaping robots was accidentally sent to your house, and it's on its way right now. It's where? It's on its way right now. It's, it looks like it's about 20 minutes away. We can see it on the GPS, and it's got about 20 minutes till it gets there. And what's it going to do when it gets here? It's going gonna, it's gonna to just work on your lawn. So uh, you, better, you better turn it back. Well, no, there's, <laughs> there's no way to, to... We can't contact it right now. I guess it's just the weather. We can't seem to get a hold of it on the Internet here. But, um, yeah, it's, gonna, it's just going to come there and do some lawn work. It's, gonna, it's not going to cost you anything. I just didn't want you to be concerned when it shows up and starts working on your lawn. What's it going to do? It's going to just cut the grass. It's going to spray chemicals. Um, it's going to check for moles. Like if you have moles, it's going to like just do some probes into the grass to look for moles. It's going to poke a bunch That's of... Is this in the middle of the night? Yeah, and it might be a little bit loud. So I, I just... Well, we also have a fence around our backyard not going to be able to get in there oh no it can get over the fence it's not a problem at all it's that, that's what these things are designed for so um, well, we have people that have gone to sleep around here so uh that's not going to be very welcome yeah uh, well, if it wakes people up there's going to be a problem we'll just try to sleep through it um at, at the very most it's just going to be four hours but it's probably going to be more like two and a half or three hours And, and you can't stop this from happening? No, no. It's like uh, there's a neighbor of yours. They put in the wrong address, and they called yeah. to find out why we it was. Don't want chem- we do all of our yard with natural stuff. We don't want chemicals sprayed on our yard. 
No, they are going to be very unhappy if it does that. No, they're organic chemicals. It's like good for your lawn. It's actually really good for your lawn. It it kills all the weeds and kills bugs and stuff. So I I just just wanted to apologize for that, but you won't have to pay for it. Like you don't have to worry about that. It's all paid for. We're not going to charge. I'm not you. worried about paying for it. I'm worried about stopping it from waking up everybody around here. Yeah, well, I'm trying to stop you know? it, but the stop button's grayed out. Like on the web browser, I'm trying to control it and bring it back, but the the stop and, buttons. And where are you? Uh, I'm at home. Uh, I'm, there's nobody are even you in. in- Huh? In Kansas City or where? Uh, no, I'm I'm a little bit to the west in Lawrence, oh. but um, yeah, th- there's just there's no there's nobody at the office right now, and this this guy usually has his lawn done late at night, and it's gonna come to your house instead. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, can you is your lawn all picked up? Like, there's not a bunch of trash out there or anything? No, there's no trash on the lawn. Okay. There's still some piles of snow around here. Yeah, it's going to melt the snow. It generates a lot of heat. A lot of a lot of heat and a lot of electromagnetism. Hey, okay. I'm not giving you permission to do this, so you're not giving me any choice. But I'm telling you, I don't want it, and you're telling me there's no choice. So, yeah, I hope things go well. Because if they doesn't, you're going to hear from my lawyer. No, there's just not much we can do right now because there's no way to for, for us to call it back. Well, I'm, you understand that's not my problem. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you can go out there and disable it if you want. You can. It's got voice command, so I can give you this code word, and you have to say the code word, and then the, and and then say freeze all motor functions. And, and but, where is this? When is this thing going to show up here? Uh, it looks like it's about fifteen minutes away. It's uh, it's it's I running at about know. twenty-five miles per hour right now. It's toward your house. Okay. Well, what is that? Code word, and this thing will just stop when I tell it this. Yeah, but it'll it'll stop in your yard. It'll um it'll just kind yeah. of freeze. And it, I'm not worried about that. And it you may come get it at some point. <laughs> it may beep continuously throughout the night until somebody comes and picks it up. Yeah, what's this code that it has to have? Oh, uh, it's uh, number two and then XL. What do you mean? I mean, I say two XL. Yeah, two XL five three eight. That that's the that's the password to access the robot. Huh? And then you say freeze all motor functions. So two XL five three eight freeze all motor functions. Two XL five three eight. Yeah. Okay. Try, try and say it out. Try and say it out loud to make sure we got it right. Two XL five three eight freeze all motor functions. Yes, that's perfect. I don't have to wait between when I give the numbers or anything. Just oh no, just just, right just like you just said. And also, uh, you can say two XL five three eight return to base. Can I do? Is it, you do both or one or the other? Uh, one or the other. Just just see which one works. Because um, if you just say freeze all motor functions, it's just going to sit there and beep really loud all night. I'll see if I can't. I'll see if I can't send it back. So, so the other one that doesn't work, and we're just going to have to freeze it. Yeah, yeah. Just two XL five three eight return to base. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yeah, yeah, we've been using these for the past year. They usually do okay. They usually don't cause any problems. But yeah, it's just the the customer. customer put, I'm still up. What? Unfortunate, I'm still up. Oh yeah, yeah. It looks like it's got about twelve minutes till it gets there. It's increasing okay, its speed. Well, I'll watch. I'll watch for it. Okay, it's uh, it's all silver. It's got um, a yellow rotating light on its on on top of it, so you'll see it coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, all right. Well, is there anything else I need to know? Um, no, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other way to to get rid of it is well, no, I I, I probably shouldn't tell you that. It's an industry secret. Um, you you know the like if you see it doing a probe down into the lawn don't get too close to it because it's it's running electrical um it's it's electrocuting moles in your lawn okay 
and, and it's 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 actually it's kind of like a stun gun, and it, it could actually um you, you know you're, you it, you wouldn't like want to touch the robot when it's doing that. Well, no, I wouldn't touch it in any case. But how close can I get to it? How do I have close do I have to get to give uh, these commands? Oh, not not very close. You know, just 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 a couple feet. Okay, and it's not going to zap me at a couple of feet away. Um. Well, I don't know what it's going to do at this point because it's it's not responding. I can't get it to <laughs> to stop. But no, it's it's not dangerous or anything. Don't like there's nothing to worry about. But you just just say the command and that should get rid of the that that should. To just stay out of probe distance, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. What do I? Uh, who? Where do I call back? Um, tomorrow about this if there's any further problem uh true green uh my number's on your caller id so you've got the command there right what, which command are you going to use which one are you going to use i'm going to tell it to return to base first and see if it goes oh. the number i have is four two oh nine six nine yep yep six nine six nine okay. and if it doesn't if it doesn't do that i'm going to tell it to freeze yeah, yeah, and if neither one of those works, because I can't access it through the through the web interface right now, just let it do its thing. You know, it's just going to do your lawn. It's going to spray chemicals and stuff. It's no big deal. I'm just concerned about the noise. We yeah. have little ones around here, and I don't want to walk up. Well, don't let the little ones yeah. go out in the lawn, because it, it'll run right over them. No, 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 the police going to go outside. Yeah. Uh, and we don't have any dogs or anything like that. Oh, outside. thank God. Thank God. Yeah, um, yeah. you're not going to want to go out in the lawn barefoot after it does its chemical spray for a couple days. Yeah. Got to let that stuff soak in. It's very toxic. Yeah, you see, that's what kind of stuff we don't want in our lawn. Yeah, but it, things that are toxic. We're right up against a stream. It's and an, that stuff ends up in the stream. Yeah, but it's, or, it's or, organic toxic. Yeah, those two words don't go together. No, no, you'll, you'll look it up on the internet. It's it's real. All right, is there anything else? Um, can you just, can you yell the uh, the um, 2XL538 return to base? I'll make sure you're saying it properly with all the correct inflictions and everything. 2XL538 return to base. Yep, that was it. That's perfect. That should That should definitely do it. That usually works when we do it. Okay, we'll see what happens. Thanks for calling. Hey, do you have a microwave? Yes. That's one. Like, if it if you can't get it to stop, you can go. You can get an extension cord on the microwave and just kind of like put a screwdriver in the little hole for the door, but leave the door open, and turn it on high power, and just walk toward the robot with it, and that'll make it. That that'll that'll mess it up. I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I'll do that. Okay. Well, that, that's just an al- alternate thing to do if if the voice commands don't all right, work. I got to get some clothes on here so before this comes so I'm going to let you go. Okay. All right. Don't okay. don't film it when it comes over the fence. Yeah. All right. It it won't like that. I won't I'll get it in the front yard when it shows up. Okay. Great. All right. Bye. All right. Uh, sorry about this again. Th- okay. There you go. <laughs> he said the voice commands you guys. I did not expect that. <laughs> Uh, which one was that? Oh, it was this guy. So I'll cross him out. <laughs> I can't believe he said the voice command. That was great. He's going to be so disappointed tonight when, when the robot doesn't show up. Oh, it looks like that was the last one on this list. The other ones are uh, actual PTA offices. So I'm going to rip it up. I'm going to rip up this list. I'm, I'm totally ripping it. This isn't just a ripping sound effect. There we go. I'm ripping it. All right, that's ripped. I can't believe that guy wasn't just like, why don't you come over here and get it, motherfucker? You're just a Lawrence. It'll just take you 30 minutes. Uh, okay, this next list has smaller print. And only one phone number per entry. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is a Breeders Association for Charolais. C-H-A-R-O-L-A-I-S. I am going to Google that because I don't know what the fuck a charole is. Uh, oh, it's a weird bull-looking thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, look, there's a couple of them fucking on Google Images. They they have large uh, sexual organs <laughs> that stick out. 
Um, they look like cows. I guess it's, it's just, what is it? Is like a breed of cows or something? The Charolais is a breed of terrine beef cattle from the Charolais area surrounding Charolais in Burgundy, Eastern France. Charolais are raised for meat. They may be crossed with other breeds, including Angus and Hereford cattle. The scientific name is Boss Taurus. It is a horned cattle. And it's white. They're only white. Oh, no, actually, some of them. Oh, no, no, they're, they're white. They're only white. So there you go. Now you know what a Charolais is. Now if you only knew how to pronounce it. Because I sure don't. All right, so... Uh, I'm I'm gonna be saying nothing like I don't know what to say about Charlie cattle, but uh, the, these things have um, these people all have like rural 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 addresses, <laughs> rural addresses. I mean, most of them seem to. So uh, there, it's probably not going to be exactly a neighborhood. So I may have to kind of change. <laughs> hey, our robot's gonna come over and and you know mow down all your charolays. I'm dialing a number. Still dialing. Still connecting. Oh. Oh, hello, Willard? Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. I live down the street a bit. Okay. What you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, what you doing? What you doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just getting up, Jay, too. Getting up? Oh, is it time to get up already? Yeah. I didn't think it was that early yet. Well, it's... No, it isn't. I'm sorry. I left the wrong clock. It's about midnight. Oh, it's midnight. Yeah, I was wondering, like, what do you do? You get up at midnight? That's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Hey, um, you know the, the time changes tonight, the daylight savings time change? You gotta move your clock back one hour tonight. They they changed it this year. Usually it's on a Sunday, but this time it's on a Friday. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Did you, well, did you did you change your clock? I haven't yet. Oh, you better do that. You don't want to get up early. It'll confuse the Charolais. <laughs> well, uh, I'll just let Mother Nature work me up, wake me up. Oh, okay. You don't you don't do an alarm or anything. No, I haven't used an alarm in years. Oh, what time do you usually get up? Oh, probably around 6. Oh, wow, that's early. That's got... Still dark out, right? That's... Oh, it's light enough you can see outside without much trouble. Yeah, yeah. Hey, were, were you dreaming yet? Were you having any dreams? <laughs> no. Oh. What were you hoping to dream about tonight? <laughs> I have too many dreams the way it is. I'll just take what the good Lord sends me. What's what's the best dream you've ever had? Oh Lord, I don't know. Uh, oh. What's the most recent dream you've uh you can remember that you had? Oh, it had to do with my wife and, and uh, she's been dead for fifteen, sixteen years. Boom chicka bow wow. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's a good one. So, um, you're getting ready to go to sleep then? Yep. All yep. right. I'll, uh, all right. Do what? I said all right then. Uh, I'm uh, so no. Are you do you have a phone that's like a speaker phone? Or are you just I'm on, on the phone. No, I've just got one of these little flip phones. No, I don't have a speaker. Like ah, animal. okay. All right, keep it next to your ear. I'm going to read you a bedtime story. Are you ready? I guess. All right, here goes. Three, two, get ready to go to sleep. You're, by the time I finish this, you should be asleep. Mm-hmm. All right, this one's called Mouse in the House. There was a mouse in the house. Grandma saw it first. Mouse, she screamed, jumping up the sofa. The cushions fell on the floor. And it has a picture of the mouse, you know, on the cushions. Where, asked Pa, climbing up the window. He pulled the curtains down. There, shouted Ma, leaping up to the table. The plates fell with a crash. Catch him, said Mithin to the cat. The cat looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. 
Mouse screamed Mithin, running behind the cat. I will chase it out, said Ma bravely. She took out the broom and poked here and there. Mouse shouted Pa behind you. Ma looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. I know what to do, shouted Grandma, jumping down from the sofa. She rolled up a newspaper and poked here and there. Mouse yelled Pa, climbing the window even higher. To your left, Grandma looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. Oh no, Pa said softly. He couldn't go any higher. He climbed down carefully and fled under the bed before the mouse could see him. It's a big fucking bed. Mouse in the house shouted everyone together. That woke the baby up. She sat up on her mat, rubbing her eyes sleepily. What was that on her pillow? It had two eyes, four feet, and a long tail. Mouse, said Baby, clapping happily. Baby looked at the mouse, and the mouse fled with Baby right behind him. Leaping up the sofa, climbing the window, jumping up the table, tumbling over the cushions, running in between the curtains, and scurrying over the plates, and out the door. The end. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're not asleep yet. Uh, I thought you'd be asleep. No. Well, thank you, and I'll go try to take a nap. Oh, no, it's cool. I've got another story here. You want to hear about the heron? No, I believe you've done me about well enough. All right. Pre- appreciate it. No, it's no problem Good night. at all. Good night. Sleep, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right. All right. I think I did a good thing tonight. <laughs> what a stupid fucking story that was, though, really. That was worse than the Heron story. <laughs> uh, that, it's, the, these are like like bedtime story written by Salmuya Rajaduran, illustrated by Tanya Yavaz. I don't know why I can't find like a better short story page. I, really, I should just go to Goodwill and buy some books. Buy some good old-fashioned American kids' books. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Biggs. I didn't do the voices. So that was the first one on this list. And we got an answer, so that's good. Yay. Yeah, Paris talk. Exactly. All right, what's next? What am I doing next? I hope he changes his clocks. I should have told him not. Don't don't forget. Change your clock real quick. I guess if he's got his cell phone, though, he would just expect hello. it. Oh, hello, Peggy. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm, I'm from True Green, the lawn company. I'm sorry. To yes. call, I'm sorry to call so late. I'm calling. Okay. To, um, so we've got one of our autonomous uh, landscaping robots. It's on its way to your house right now. It's uh, it's going to show up there in about 20 minutes, and it's going to start mowing your lawn, your entire lawn. It's, it's like, well, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, it's, a, it's an autonomous machine, and it's going to do the bushes and the trees. It's going to, like, debark the trees. And, well, that'd just be great. Yeah, well, I'm... I'm 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 really sorry about this. I mean, I'm I'm glad that you appreciate it and everything. It's it's we're not going to charge you for it. It was just somebody put That's it That's nice of you. Yeah, somebody put it in the wrong address. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be your neighbor. Your neighbor might want want money for this. But um it's You might. Yeah, but it won't be from us, you know, like it's it's not our fault. It's your neighbor's fault. Okay, but, I'll, I'll, I'll blame my neighbor. Okay, it's going to be really loud, though, and it's going to last about four hours. I just didn't want you to be, con- to be concerned if you looked out the window and saw it working. Oh, I, I won't be concerned. I'll enjoy watching. Yeah, well, I think you'd be asleep. I mean, that's the whole point. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, th- this is Brad from the uh, True Green. Yeah, huh? I know it is. Why'd you ask then? Well, I just wanted to make sure I was talking to who I thought I was. Oh, yeah. Okay. It didn't sound like you, Brad. Yeah. How come you don't use our services normally? I mean, it seems like it's a pretty good deal overall. It's just 50 bucks for the well, autonomous robot. Well, one time when we used it, you killed my front yard. Well, I didn't. I don't I do not do the land- no. landscaping. It was whoever worked. You know, it was probably stupid chat or something. 
probably was. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, other than that, everything's just ducky. That's great. I'm glad things are ducky. Uh, what's well, I'm excited for your little robot to get here. Yeah, what's Larry doing right now? I think he's in bed asleep. Oh, can I talk to him real quick? No, I can't wake him up. I want to read him a bedtime story. Well, he's already asleep. Come on. Please? He's already asleep. I know, but if I just wake him up and he'll just be half awake and... You know, I'll, then I'll read him a bedtime story and he'll fall right back asleep and he'll have better dreams. I'll probably just let him sleep. I want, I want to ask him what he was dreaming about. Well, it might be, it might be rated R, it'd be too, uh, you're not old enough. That's true, yeah. Yeah, my poor virgin ears. Yeah. I know that. Yep. You got me there. Uh, how come you're not yeah. asleep yet? I was reading... Hey, if the robot comes out to your lawn, um, don't be calling it little like you called it little to me, because it'll take offense to that. It's it's a pretty big robot. Okay, I won't I won't I won't offend it. I promise. All right, and and keep your distance from it, okay? While it does its work, it doesn't need your help or anything. Just leave it alone. It doesn't. Yep. It does I'm not. I'm pretty handy. I could probably help it. No, I don't think so. You you don't know what to do. You, you, like just stay away from it, okay? Because it's 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 you know it might run over you or something. Oh, I don't want to get run over. Yeah, yeah. Got to be careful. These yeah. new robots they got. And then, are you going to come around and inspect it tomorrow to make sure it did a good job? No, because you're not even paying for it. It'll do a good job. It always does. Oh, okay. All right. You'll need to do the edging though. Well, yeah, it doesn't do edging. It does everything but the edging. Okay, well, that shouldn't be a problem. All right. What time do you go to bed? <laughs> um, usually about twelve, between twelve and one. Well, it's it's oh, okay. Yeah, it's twelve ten. You better get to bed. All right. Well, it's sure been nice chatting with you. Do you want me to call you back? I'm glad about, you called. You want me to call you back in about twenty minutes and read you a bedtime story? No, I'll be okay. My my book will put me to sleep. Okay. All right. All right. I was just trying to be Thank nice. Thank you for calling. All right. Good I night. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. She's going to tell her husband about that call, and her husband's just going to think she's crazy. What are you on about, honey? That was the second one on this list. So far, we are at a 100% answer rate. <laughs> Seven wants me to say our cow milking robot's on its way to your house. I hope you have cows. <laughs> Don't go outside unless you want to, you know what I mean? There's, I could say I'm from the, the local uh, John Deere regional office. One of our robots was sent out to milk, to milk the cows. Whatever those things. Oh, yeah, right here. Char Charlie's. Charlie's. Gonna milk your Charlie, if you know what I mean. Hello? Bob, it's it's Jerry from John Deere. Yes? There, there's a problem. I can barely hear you. Can you speak up? What do you want? Uh, one of our robots is on its way over to your house right now. It's a, it's a cow milking robot. And it's gonna be there in about 20 minutes. I was supposed to go to one of your neighbors, but we accidentally sent it to your house instead. What's it supposed to do? Anything? I can't hear you talking to the right end of the phone. What do you want? I, I'm trying to let you know there's going to be a cow milking robot show up at your house soon. It's an autonomous robot. What's it going to do when it gets here? Uh, it's going to milk the cows. Do, do, you do have cows, really? right? No. Do, do you have? I don't. You don't have anything like that. No. Oh, crud. What, what kind of animals do you have there? I don't have anything for you. Because generally it, it, it can tell the difference between a cow and another animal, but... I don't know at this time of night. It's so hard to hear you. Can you put the phone to your mouth? I'm not really interested in what you're doing. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you what's going on, but it's just so hard to hear you. You're, you're talking... Well, we'll see when it gets here. You got your phone up, upside down, dummy. Hey, Bob, were you dreaming? Yes. 
What were you dreaming about? That people leave me alone this time of the night. That's a weird dream to have. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like just uh, it's it's weird. It's coincidental that I would call right as you're having that dream. Bob. What? I think you need to install some sort of an audio filter on your phone line. There's this horrible buzzing sound. That's too bad. No, really. I mean, it, it, it's really, really bad. You, you should, you should, like, you can buy this little thing on Amazon. It's, it's just uh, twelve dollars. It's a noise filter. Hey, stop it. He, he dialed four three at me. Bob. I'll hang up on Bob. Next is Tom. Bob and Tom. My favorite radio morning duo. All right, what are we doing the rest of the night, everyone? I think this autonomous delivery robot idea is officially uh, stupid, especially for farm people. I mean, I guess I could try and do the cow thing. I could say after it milks the cows, it's going to slaughter them. The guy does too have Charlie's, by the way. It even says what, what, what his Charlie farm name is and everything in this list. Hello, this is Tom. Please leave me a message. All right. Tom's not there. Oh, bedtime story, Graham. Okay. Hey, I found the heron story. Man, these, these stories are so shitty. Like, I wish I could find a good story page. If I tell them it's a story, Graham, they're just going to hang up. But I'm going to try it. That's my prediction. They're just going to hang up on me. But it's worth a try. All right, that that's a good one, Funk Physics. I will definitely do that after the storygram thing. Tell him I dropped my ring while mi- milking the cows. <laughs> Hello? Can I help you? Oh, hey, it's it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Is this Annette? Yes. Hey, um... I, I need to let you know about something. I was in your field last night, and I stepped in cow poop. Like, do you guys not clean up your cow poop? Excuse me? I, I just, I, I stepped in cow poop, and it got all over my shoes. Like, it it actually, I stepped in it, and it kind of went up around on top of my shoes, and it just completely encased my shoes in cow poop. Hello? Annette? Damn it, Annette. Storygrams! That was Fung Physics' idea that, that got the phone hung up on me. Blame him. I wonder if that um, that first guy, do you think he's out there on the porch waiting for the, the lawn robot to show up? He's got a piece of paper in his hand with the robot commands on it. 2XL538, return to base. Freeze all motor functions. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voicemail. That's pretty great. I can't believe he believed all of that. What would I say if I called him back, though? Mr. Biggs? Tell him I gave him the wrong code. I gave him the code to attack him. I gave him the decoy code. That's the code that's going to make him really angry. Hello? His eyes are going to turn red. Oh, hey! This is um, James. I'm your neighbor. No, you're not my neighbor. I am, too. I live on Route BB. Well, I don't live there. Well, I do. I'm saying I'm, I'm your okay. ex-neighbor. Ex you don't have to be a grouch, lady. I'm just trying to let you know about something. Jeez. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello. Hey. Um, hey, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. Is this Steve? Yes. Hey, Steve. Uh, I have a small problem. Okay. I was flying my drone around around your uh, property. I was, I was flying my drone around your house, and it crashed into your house. Did Did you hear that? Like, did you, you didn't like pick it up or anything? Did you? When was this? I uh, was just like t- ten or twenty minutes ago. I, I was just I was <laughs> flying circles around your house slowly. And I got too close to the house, and it crashed into the house, and it fell. And I don't know. Did you guys? Did you guys find my drone? I didn't hear it. Who is this? Uh, th- this is Brad. I'm your neighbor. 
neighbor where? I'm like you. You guys live over. I I lived it like way down the highway from you on Highway D. I'm, I'm in the Red House, but way down there. Okay. I'm just saying, don't keep my drone because it's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no intention of keeping your drone. <laughs> okay. Well, I just didn't want you to steal it or anything because I paid a lot of money. Yeah. It's like a. $500 drone, and I don't want to lose it. Well, okay. Well, I guess I'd be careful about where I was flying my fucking $500 drone then, maybe. Yeah. Well, I'm, usually I'm careful, but it was dark out tonight, and the visibility wasn't good, and I just yeah, that accidentally... Yeah, probably sounds like a situation I'd keep it grounded. Smacked into your house. Well, no, the visibility got good while I was... Uh, it got bad while I was out, like in the middle of it all, so it's not, oh, okay. my, it's not my fault. And you, you usually fly around people's houses at midnight? Yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I was making a YouTube video. Ah, okay, you can see in windows and stuff, can't you? Well, no, I wasn't looking in your windows. That, that's, that's, oh, okay. I, I don't do stuff like that. How'd you crash I, in the house, then? I was, just, I was just flying slowly around your house, that's all. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, you know, you, you can lose the attitude, by the way. I, I'm just, I was oh, just trying to... My pre- attitude? I'm not calling somebody up at 1230 in the morning. <laughs> no, that's okay, I'll, we'll, we'll look for it and... It's safe here. Whatever. Okay. Can, we'll can, have it tomorrow. Can you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up, though? Huh? Can, that lady in the background? I, I heard someone, like, yammering on. Can you tell her to shut the fuck up? Brad? Yeah? You, you're going ha- to have a problem finding your drone if you're not careful. Oh, no. Come on. Don't be like that. Because you can't just steal someone's drone. i uh, <clears throat> okay. Like I'm allowed to fly my drone around your house. The the air above your property is public property. So it's, you know, it's that's not, great. It's not my fault. You can't just steal it though. But it's not your fault that it crashed into my house. Okay. No, it's not. You, you, and you're, okay. You just, you just have a shitty attitude about the whole thing, and I don't appreciate it. I don't have a shitty attitude, Brad. I didn't call somebody up at twelve thirty in the morning. I know. I the only <clears throat> reason I'm calling you is because I lost my drone. Fell out of the sky. Okay. All right. We'll look for it. Okay, are you going to look right now? Can I just come over and look yes. myself? Come on over. All right. You're, you're not going to, like, get in my way, are you? Because I'm, I'm just out there looking for the drone. <laughs> yeah. We're in good shape. Come on over. Okay, well, I'm just saying. I, I don't want any bullshit from you. I'm, I'm just, like, out there looking for my drone. That's all. Brad, Brad, come on. What? Come on over. I said, come on over. Okay, I'm okay. going. I'm going to. Right. I just, I don't, don't want. Good enough. I just, I, I just don't want to have to deal with you. Like, are you just, are you going to go to bed and I'll just look for it on my own? <laughs> no, I've got to go out and check cows. Why, why do you have to check? <laughs> so, what? Why do you have to check? I got some there camping. You got, you got <clears throat> someone camping? <clears throat> Brad, come on over and look for your drone. I'll be out checking cows for calves. <clears throat> is, it, is that what you said? Yes. You're checking. Yes, sir. You're checking calves. Yes, what that's you, what we do at night when we have cows that are having babies. Okay. Well, you don't have to be so condescending toward me. You know, I'm. I'm just like I'm your neighbor. You should treat me nice. Fucking that's fine. I I appreciate that. Fucking asshole. I appreciate that. <laughs> Easy now. What? <clears throat> well, <laughs> you're wanting to ask somebody for a favor to come look for something on our property. You want to be careful about what you're calling them. Okay, well, it's just that you're, on over. you're being kind of an asshole, that's all. Okay. All right. Whatever. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, Steve? Hey, hey what? Steve? Yes. Um, I love you. Even though you're a cock-sucking shit master, I still love you. Yeah, Brad. What? You're going to make this into something that's a problem. Can you tell her to shut the fuck up in the background? She she just won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> T- tell her men are talking. <laughs> uh, Brad, who is this really? It's Brad, your neighbor. I live like way down the street. I'm in the red house. The red house? Yep. Which direction? To the west. I'm just, like, I'm not trying to cause problems. I'm just saying that she wouldn't shut the fuck up. She just kept talking. 
Just tell her to shut the fuck up. Can I talk to her real quick? You, you want to talk to her? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you talk to her. Here okay. she is. So, who's this? Hey, I, I was just telling him that you should shut the fuck up because men are talking and we were trying to have a conversation and you just kept talking. So, why don't you just shut the fuck up? Well, I don't know who the fuck you are, but well, you're talking to my dad. And I'm walking around the house with a goddamn light right now. And if I find your drone, you probably not gonna have one. Oh, you you better not mess with my drone because you'll have to pay for it. Oh, good, good. That's great. You can't just you can't just tear, find me. You, can, you just can't tear up someone else's drone. You can't be an asshole like your mom. Well, all right. This is a fuck. This has got to be a joke because this is fucking. Make two circles around the house and I don't see a fucking flying drone that somebody's flying at 12.30 at night. Okay, so. well, it's, no, it's not flying. It crashed. It landed in the ground. Where's that? It's I don't know. I can't see now because the, the camera went off because it, it crashed. I think it broke. And it broke on your well, property, right. so you're, you're responsible for paying for the repairs. No, we're not responsible for paying for your fucking dumb ass that's fucking flying the thing. And there's no way you're flying a $500 drone... It's fucking 12.30 at night without being within a couple hundred fucking feet, maybe a mile of that motherfucker. No, it's, Where are you at? It's got, a cellular Where are you at? it's got a cellular connection on it. I could fly it from across the country if I wanted to, you fucking idiot. Okay. Where are you at? I, I'm at my house. Where, where's where's, where's this drone at? I'm a mile. Where's this drone I'm at? A, Shay, shut up. I'm a mile down the road. I was just flying it okay. around. And okay. Where's, where's a mile down the road? Like, like to the west. Right to the west. Look, okay, where's my out of hey, the west? Don't worry where's about it. Out of the west? Give the phone back to your where's mommy. Out of the west? Give the phone back to your mommy. Where's my out of the west? How come you took the phone from where's, mommy? Where's my out of the west? Uh, you don't know where west is? Are you a fucking idiot? I don't know where west is. Where's my out of the west? So, so go to the west and look for the red house. I, I don't want you to come over though. Okay, I, I'll I'll come over and get my drone. Just go back to bed. Your drone is not here. I don't know how the fuck you got my dad's number, but. I, don't your, fucking worry about... I'm your neighbor. No. no, you're not. Yes, I am. Brad, if this is Brad, my dad doesn't know anybody that's been here for fucking 40 years. This is... Just shut the fuck and up. Maybe he doesn't know everybody. <laughs> there he goes. All right. <laughs> Cactus Rider wants me to send another drone with Midol and tampons. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Dr. Punch Me wants to challenge him to a duel, Yu Gi Oh style. Okay. I wanted to talk to the mom. Why did the mom have to get off the phone so quickly? Or maybe that wasn't the mom in the first place. Maybe that was just the son. He just sounded like the mom in the background. That's what it was. Um, all right, so I guess I'm going to take a break, like a very short break, and then I'm going to come back and just do a couple more of these calls. We're going to be all done. And, oh, man, something happened to my recording during that whole thing. I lost a bunch of that call. Hopefully I can recover it from the Mixler. Damn it, damn it. Damn it. Anyway, I'll be, I'll be right back. Come on, baby, a hun, put your glasses on. Yeah, you go the way to med school, and I've gone out of my mind. Put them on, 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 put them on. All right, let's do a couple more calls and quit. I might have another 20 minutes left in me. And then it's time for the Justin Show. Justin's going to be on the air. It's going to be great. It's going to be the best show ever from Justin. Can't wait for that. Call the robot guy back. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll call the robot guy back. <laughs> but seriously, what am I saying to him? I'm not going to tell him the robot's going to kill him. Because that seems like a bad idea. Um, <laughs> I could tell him the the robot got into a car accident. And um, it's dead now. And he's 
got to pay the funeral costs for the robot. I don't know. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Quick, what do I do? Quick, quick, what do I do? <laughs> okay, all right, that's good, Mr. Biggs. That's what I'm going to do it. It is, it's stuck in a bump. He needs to go to lodge it. Perfect. And they need to recharge it. Thank you, Drive Caprice. They need to recharge the robot. Hello? Hey, Leonard? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry to call again. The, the robot, it got stuck. It's like in a ditch. It's 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 kind of like um, showed up here, and I've tried to call back this number, and it's replaced. So I'm beginning to think this is just a harassment scam. No, it's you not know, a harassment I don't find scam. This number. I don't find this number as a true green number anywhere on the internet. I know I'm calling you from my personal cell phone, but you need to go over to. It's it's just What's uh, your it's, name? it's it's. What's it's, your name? It's Roy. It's three blocks away. You need to go dislodge it and get it out of the ditch. What is your... I'm not doing anything. What is your name? This. My name is Roy. No, seriously. Roy what? Can you, can you, can you go like, get it out of the ditch? Because it's, it's tipped oh. over. He hung up. <laughs> he sounded a lot less friendly this time. <laughs> All right. I called him back. Sorry, uh, other person, I didn't get to your, uh, you know, the robot needs recharged. Bring your jumper cables. Tell them they share the same DNA as the robot. That's from Sir Farts a Lot. He was pissed, you guys. He actually said the phrases. He said the phrases earlier tonight, and now he's just pissed. He He realizes he was bamboozled. Hello. Hello. Uh, hey, is this Nick? Sure is. Hey, Nick. It, it's Brad. I'm with uh, I'm with Storygram. A friend of yours has requested that I call you up and read you a bedtime story. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Biggs wants me to call back Leonard and and <laughs> and tell Leonard stop all motor functions. That's so tempting. God damn it. See, I told you, if I did the storygram thing, people would just hang up on me. But I want to try it again. Once or twice. (laughs) Oh, man. I can't believe how pissed off Leonard was. He was so nice the first time around. I mean, he threatened me with legal action, but he was still really nice. These people's name is Curtis and Bobby. You know that's going to be perfect. Hello. Hello, Bobby. No, this is his uh, dad, mom. Oh, hey. Well, I was calling for Curtis actually. Um, well, here, here's Kurt. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Thank you. No, that's his dad. Hang on. Whatever. Hello. Hey, Curtis. Yes. Hey, Curtis. It's Roy. I'm I'm from the Storygram. Uh, a friend of yours wanted me to call and read you a bedtime story tonight. Ah. Uh, so here we go. It's called "I Am Not Afraid." I tell you what. Why don't you tell that bedtime story to somebody different than me? No, okay? no. It's for you. They paid for it. It's a friend of yours. I'll tell you That's who after. That's great. You made some money then, didn't uh, you? Good night. No, it's for, like, you got to listen to it. No, I don't have to do anything. I pay my own taxes. L- listen here, motherfucker. Your, your taxes have nothing to do with this. I have to read you this story. God damn it. I didn't understand what that lady said at the beginning. Dad and mom? Like, this is their dad and mom? What, what did that mean? No, not dead mom. Devin. Oh, Dad, yeah, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it wasn't apparently not Curtis and Bobby. I thought Bobby was going to be the female. That's a female name that raises Charlie. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Why would he just listen to the bedtime story? What a fucking asshole. You know what I watched tonight? I watched... 
the brand new Stargate series. It was a huge piece of shit. It's like a web series. There were 10 episodes last season, and they're all like eight minutes long. I watched all 10 of them. It's like super low budget. Terrible writing, terrible directing, terrible actors. It's an origin story. I enjoyed it, though. It was fun. But it was still a piece of crap. I just, I enjoyed it. Oh. Hey, hey, David. Yeah. Hey, it's it's your neighbor, Roy. Hey, do you, do you know Mike that lives down the road? Mike. Yeah, yeah, Mike H- Haley. He li- he lives like way down the street from us. I live to the west, and he's like more to the east of you. Okay. Yeah, he wanted me to call you up. Like he he got on the internet like through this website that I I I'm I'm a participant on, and uh, it's called Storks. Oh, what? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, so he wants me to read a bedtime story to you. So tonight I'm going to okay. read you the story called I Am Not Afraid. Okay. All right. Here we go. Page one. A little girl faces her fears in the dark. I am a big girl. I go out of the house alone. It is so dark. Is someone there? Who is it? Oh, it's only the cat. I am not afraid. I can see a big, dark thing outside. What is it? Oh, it is only the well. I am not afraid. And that sound. Creak, creak, creak. What is it? Only my sister drawing water from the well. I am not afraid. I hear footsteps. Who is it? Who is it? It is my mother. She has come home from the fields. I am a big girl now. I am not afraid of anything. The end. What'd you think? Uh, I, Just all right. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you didn't think it was great. Like, what? It sounds like you didn't like it. Did you not like my reading of it, or did you just not like the story itself? Well, I not fully awake. I was asleep. Well, I was trying to read you a bedtime story so you go to sleep, you know, more. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want me to read you one more? Nah, it's fine. Thank you, anyway. Now, I got one here. It's called My Best Friend. Oh. A little girl has a friend in the mirror whom she oh. loves to do things. Oh. You know? Oh. Okay, here we go. I have a friend. She lives in my house. When I'm happy, so is she. When I cry, she cries too. But I cannot hear her voice. My friend lives inside the mirror. Come out, I tell her. We will play. She does not come out. I am not happy. I go to sleep. She comes out of the mirror in my sleep, and we have fun. We play, we run, we shout and scream together. When I talk to her, she also talks to me. In the morning, my friend will go back into the mirror. But I don't mind at all. We'll play again in my dreams. The end. Was that one better? Yeah, it was not. Oh, but you're not asleep yet. I was hoping you'd be snoring by the time I finished. Okay. Hey, do you want to workshop a new novel with me? No, it's all right. Thank you. I'm working on a book. It's not a kid's book. It's like a grown-up book. And I I need help with it. I'm not I'm not really good with uh, just just uh, I, I'm I'm good at plot lines, but I'm not so good at dialogue. Well, do you think you can help me with dial- I'm, dialogue? I'm probably not the I'm probably not the person to help you. Well, it's just dialogue. You know how to talk to people, right? I'm not so good at talk, talking to people. Mm. I'll, I'll be well past. Thank you, though. Okay. Hey, for the story, Graham, um, it's going to cost you $15.99. I need your... It cost me anything. No, your neighbor set it up as a uh, postpaid. You have to pay with your credit no. card number. So I need your credit card number no. and the last three digits on your on the back. I don't, I don't believe so. No, he. This is the way. He, I don't care what he did. This, sir. So you can't just steal a story from me because I gave you two. I gave well, you, I just I just did. So there. I gave you a free one though, and you're you're. I don't be, care. 
You're being kind of a dick because I, I read you two well, stories. Well, that's the way it is, isn't it? Two that's stories. The way it is sometimes. Two stories for the price of one. God damn well, it. Too bad, bud. Yeah, but I'm giving you a free story. I just need my $15. No, you're not giving me anything. Yeah, I Goodbye. did two. I, gave, I was only supposed to give you one, and I gave you two because you didn't like the first one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> whose, I, whose idea was that? <laughs> Uh, who was it? Who was it? Man, where did it go? <laughs> the chat room really scrolled away quickly. Seven! Seven wanted me to tell him that the service is only $15.99 a minute. And Cody No Name wanted me to workshop my novel with him. That, ne neither one of those went so well, so... God damn you both. <laughs> That was fun. I got to read two stories. That was great. Well, let me get my next story ready. Uh, it's it's eleven o'clock, you guys. I, I I really I've got to I got to quit. It's time for Justin's show to start here in any second now. Uh, so you know I I gotta get ready for that. Uh, let me click on the story. So at, at the very most, I'm gonna call like maybe three more numbers. Um, maybe four, if nobody answers, but probably just three. That finishes off the rest of this column. So here we go. Oh yeah, Carol. I gotta be Carol. Here we go. I'm gonna be Carol. You're welcome, Devin. Man, that... That, that first story I read him, it sounded kind of threatening. It's like, I'm afraid of everything. I'm, I'm afraid of the well. I'm afraid of... I, I, Hi, you've reached her. I, I felt like I was making a serious threat against him when I read that story. I'm, I'm glad he didn't take it that way. He, he seemed all right with it, even though he wouldn't pay my fifteen dollar and ninety nine cent fee. Hello. Hello, Don. Yeah. Hey, it's Carol. I'm your neighbor. Okay. Um, I, look, I I was in your. Uh, I was out there in your field. I was milking one of your cows, and I lost my wedding ring. Did, did you find a ring out there in the field? And horse, horse is that? I, I was, I, I was. Well, it's kind of close to where your barn is. Okay, and, I have not seen it. I don't, I don't know where you're talking about or what's what, ma'am. Yeah, I, w I was milking one of your cows. I just, I just go out there and get, I go out there and get free milk sometimes. One of my cows? Yeah, yeah. I just go out there and I get I get milk. Those are cows, right? I didn't know I had. Yeah, but I didn't know I had any milk cows. Well, yeah, yeah. I just you know I I work them I work them until I get some milk and yeah I, I lost it doesn't matter anyway I lost my wedding ring and my husband's gonna be so angry because yeah I'm trying to save us a little bit of money by getting milk from your cows and. And now, huh. uh, now my wedding ring's gone. So, like, if you see it, can you call me back and let me know? I will, but I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about, which cows you're trying to milk or where at. No, no, I do I it all the time. I, I just, I'll come over and get, like, a half a gallon of milk. and So I don't have to go to the store which, and buy it because, you know, money's tight. And which pasture do you go to? Uh, yours. Yours. They're, they're, they're on, uh, you know, just the, they're up the road from me. Hmm. Yep. Well, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, I, I, I really, I didn't think you would mind if I was just milking some of your cows occasionally, but, yep, I lost my wedding ring while I was doing it. I guess that's what I get. <laughs> well, ma'am, I don't think, I think you're in the wrong pasture because I don't have any cows. They're all steers. Oh, shoot. Does that mean I've been drinking semen? I don't know. I think you're. Eesh. I don't know what you're thinking about, ma'am. I'm sorry. So I've, I've been putting that on my kids' cool? cereal. And do you know what time of night it is? Yeah, yeah. It's, I usually come out around this time of night, and I forgot to call you during the day today. And I was gonna. I, I just it reminded me to to call you before I came over and got my semen. I mean, my milk. And where where do you live at? Tell me again. It's just way down the road, like like in, you know the red house. 
like way down the road. It's behind the trees. You probably don't see it. On which road do you live on? The same one as you, silly. Ma'am, I don't. I, I live in town. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm in the red house. Anyway, and you know, just call me back if you find that ring, though, okay? Okay. All right. Hey. Hey, Don? Yes. Don? Yes. I love you. Don does not love me. So he had a P.O. box on here. God damn it. He's like the one guy on this list with the P.O. box. And I think that may be the last call of the night. Um, I've got one more in this column. They have two phone numbers. I wanted someone to get pissed about me milking their cows, though. Don't give me good ideas now. It's, it's time to quit. It's not, the, it's not the good time to give me ideas. Come on, stop it. Cut it out. No, it's 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 a charolay. You, you, like you don't see it. It's it's spelled charolays. Charolays. It's Paris talk. Mr. Biggs. It's okay. I understand. You're not educated. You don't get it. Hello. Hello, Timothy. Yeah. It, it's Carol from down the road. Timothy. Yes. Ah, uh, were you sleeping? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry to call so late. It's just um, I was I was milking your cows and I I lost my wedding ring over there. I was I was sneaking into your field and and milking your cows and I re- I really need to get my wedding ring back. Do you, have you found that? Uh, no. Oh. Can you keep an eye out for it, please? Timothy, Timothy, come on, oh, Timothy, what the hell, Timothy, I'm going to try him right back. This is Timothy, sorry I missed you, you can leave me a message, thank you. At the tone, please record your message. Timothy. When you have finished recording, Timothy. you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Is this a machine? Timothy, pick up, pick up, pick up, Timothy, Timothy, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. It's Carol from down the street. Okay, I'm going to read you a story. This is a bedtime story, Timothy. It's called Today I Am. Today I am an astronaut. Look how high I can jump on the moon. Today I'm a sculptor. Watch out, my crocodile and dinosaur are hungry. Rawr! Today I'm a cricketeer. It's my turn to bowl, and you are out. Today, I'm a botanist. I've discovered a new plant, and I'll name it after myself. Wow. Today, I'm a drummer. Doosh, tush, my sticks are moving so fast, you cannot even see them. Mm-hmm. Today, I'm so many things. Tomorrow, what will I be? The end. That's my story, Timothy. What's that noise in the background? Like a if you are satisfied oh, with yeah, your message, yeah, okay. press 1. To listen to your message, to send your message with normal delivery, uh, press 1. Thank you. Your message has been sent. I thought I thought that was a voicemail and yeah, it was. He he couldn't hear that. He couldn't hear me say pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it, Timothy, for having a voicemail. Yeah, what was that noise? That was weird. Zombie parents from outer space. That looks like a great bedtime story. Oh, shit. That's 24 chapters. Some of these stories are really long. Bumbly, wumbly sunshine. (laughs) Oh, man. Look at this one. Oh, that's kind of long, too. I don't want to play that one. I don't want to read that one. I got to read y'all a bedtime story, though. Leroy makes a friend. Man, these fucking stories, though. Like, uh, <laughs> she's like afraid of the well. Who the fuck has a well? Uh, who takes the train? <laughs> the pumpkin chase. Come on, I need some short stories, not long stories. How about the I can climb story? No, no, I can't read Zombie Parents. That, I, isn't that the one I said was like 50 chapters or something? I can't. I just can't. 
Can't. The show's over, everyone. I'm about to read you a story, and then we're all going to go over to Justin's channel, and we're going to listen to Justin do his show. So we're going to listen. I mean, we're going to read tonight as our bedtime story. It's called I Can Climb by Pratham Books. It's not by an author. It's by a company, apparently. I am a big boy now. I can climb up the steps, but I cannot climb down again. I can climb on a chair, but I cannot climb down again. Wait, wait, wait. I, I should post the link to this. You guys want to be able to see the, the pictures, right? You got to see how sad he is that he can't climb down again. Apparently, he just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't just fall off. I climb onto the chair and then onto the table, and then I get a real concussion. But I cannot climb down again. Papa, Papa, I shout. Papa laughs. Suno, learn to climb down, he says. I am afraid, but I do not cry. Slowly I get down from the table and down from the chair. At last, I have learned to climb down too. Wow, that was a horrible instructional. It didn't even show you how to climb down from shit. There's like one little picture. That story was bullshit. It's bullshit. Anyway, thanks everybody for listening to the show tonight. I had fun. How long were we on? We were on for, holy shit, two hours and 19 minutes. The first 19 minutes was music. Uh, I'm sure for the podcast listeners, it's going to be much shorter than two hours and 19 minutes. Because there was a lot of ringing, a lot of no picking up. Uh, I hope Leonard sleeps good tonight. <laughs> Leonard is fuming about the robot prank. <laughs> <laughs> that, he, that he that he did tonight that he participated in I can't say I can't believe he said the phrases 2XL538 please return to base seesaw motor limbs oh man Justin's not even going on tonight what the hell Justin I guess that means I have to do five more hours right now no just kidding fuck that shit Good night, everyone see you next time thanks for listening bye oi Brad hey. tap water wolf here Hey. Or Yachty. Hey. I'm glad you were able to get two episodes out of, almost two episodes out of the gym list that I sent you. Oh, okay. That was incredible <laughs> listening to all the people freak out that I go to gym with. Was that the stay out of the boiler room gym calls? Holy shit, something's happening here. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I'm driving and then there's something happening right next to me. That's the crazy. Two cars stopped and then. One car Crazy. just walked out really angrily towards That's very the interesting. One, Tell me more. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. Thank you so no much shit. for doing that episode. I'm, I especially enjoyed uh, the freak out of Sarah. She is usually in a whole different universe. Uh, it was amazing that you were able to catch that even through phone. Uh, uh, the root seller idea was incredible because there is a downstairs that goes to somewhere and nobody knows or I think only the employees know where it goes to. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, so I think most people... They, she said they had a boiler room. Like, who the fuck has a boiler room? Fell, fell for that because uh, there is actually stairs that go down in one part of the gym. It's probably the root cellar. Also, recently due to the bad weather and rain and snow and stuff, the gym's ceiling started leaking. Oh, no. You know, there's random buckets at least a that's because people keep going on the fucking roof they're walking around up there they're creating leaks 20, you know 20 to 25 buckets just throughout the gym here and there just collecting drops of water that are falling from the ceiling yeah. I wish this happened the roof. sooner just so you had some ammunition to come up with extra ideas but anyway thank you so much I think I'm over the minute but yeah, I really appreciate way it. over uh, making those episodes thanks like Brad two minute Cactus long voicemail bike. yeah thanks for sending those lists in those were a lot of fun I just heard the WTFG bit that's fucking hilarious brother keep up the good work the what the, the... I just heard the WTFG bit that's WTF jeans I'm not sure what you're referring to I'm sure my listeners know hi Brad uh, this is high school graduate two hey. things 
I thought the line about swimming in fourth cousin pussy was funny, <laughs> but yeah. as a Christian, I don't think that's something you should joke about. Oh, okay, well, uh, I asked God for forgiveness, so it's totally cool. He said, no problem, Brad. He said, it's fine. He said, I can say it again, actually, if I want. So I actually have permission from God to joke about fourth cousin pussy, so it's fine. Hi, Brad. People's Karma Squad here. Hey. Just a couple ideas for your genetic uh, DNA call. Oh, yeah, I need to do more of those. Call someone and just that say, uh, did you know that diarrhea is hereditary? And they'll say, no, I didn't know that. And you can say, well, I just found some in my genes. Ha! <laughs> 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 Excuse me. Next one, Good you can go, um, idea, you could call them up and say, you know, I'm on checked on the 23 whatever and found that you also have the homosexual gene do you want to hook up that would be hilarious <laughs> okay thank you okay. have a good one brad you too that could be fun to try and convince everyone in my family that they're extremely gay hey brad i was listening to some old shows and i found a funny part where you kind of foreshadow your future so it might be kind of funny to play it on the show if you go to the August 10th, 2013 episode that's called oh, Home Alone, and then play to. at one hour, three minutes, and 52 seconds. August 10th, 2013. You know, if you're referring to the grocery store thing, I think I foreshadowed my future on that episode. Didn't I say something like, you know, when I get arrested for this, it's all what's-his-face's fault. All right, I found the episode, now I need to go to three minutes and 50, oh, one hour, three minutes, and 52 seconds. Hello, everyone. This is, uh, this is FBI Special Agent Allen. Oh, great. Uh, I am working on this case. Uh, we're, we're, in, we're in the middle of arresting a gentleman here in Albany, Oregon. His name is Brad Carter. Wow. Uh, if only I'd known. The show, whatever the show thing is, I'm, I don't know. It's over. Brad Carter is under arrest. Uh, the, the good people of Winnetka Neighborhood Watch have have done their duty, and they've uh, their, uh, uh, Brad duty. Carter is done with. No more shows. We'll okay, be- all right, yeah, it's very hilarious. I'm sure somebody I was talking to threatened me with the FBI, and hey, that Micro Corgi. Hey, Micro Corgi. I heard you were uh, using the name of St. Louis in some of your calls to relatives. You're saying you. Uh, Pretending you commit some petty crimes and stuff, and I think you're misrepresenting the name of St. Louis. If you're going to talk about crimes, you better go big. We're not some crappy little podunk dunk town. We got some hardened criminals here, That's so true. you better talk about meth and uh, heroin because heroin is uh, a big thing. Meth. You better talk about like stealing entire buildings and trying to move them somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're going to talk St. Louis for crime, you better go big or go home, buddy. Okay, sorry. Also, I probably have a new song coming your way. They saw an old episode, so thanks I can't, I can't for that. I can't wait. Love you. Cactus, cactus. Yeah, I'll try to make St. Louis sound shittier in the future. Hey, Brad, it's Green Up. Hey, I just Green wanted Up. to tell you about my fish, Carol, this Carol cloth I got. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Baby's awake. I got to go. Uh, Crap. Tell your baby to shut the fuck up. Green Imp. Thing's always crying. If you want to see non-stop pictures of Green Imp's new baby, be sure to join the PLA Discord. The link is in the show notes, buried in the middle of the links where it says community. Everyone should join the Discord and be like, oh, that's such a cute baby. Look at it cry. Hey, this is the twins from Sacramento. We're calling off a payphone from 4550 Roswell Road, North Highlands, California. The phone oh, number okay. is 916-484-9159. And I'm holding the phone upside down. Twins from Sacramento. Fucking idiot. Oh, Brad. I love you. It's weird. The phone number that shows up on caller ID is completely different. It says 916-582-8754. I'm going to try and call that and see what comes up. I would call the number you said, but the Google transcription thing gives the wrong phone number. It's completely off. And I'm sure it's just going to ring. Nobody's going to pick up. Who picks up a payphone? Yeah, it's just ringing forever. I'm going to hang up. It might not even be ringing at the payphone. They may have, you know, cut the wires on the ringer or something. But I think the number that I have is correct. You're incorrect. You probably have the old phone number written on there. So if anyone wants to try and call a payphone in North Highland, California, it's 916-582-8754. Maybe you can get somebody to pick up. 
I don't have enough patience for that right now. Hey, Roy, this is Miguel B. doing, man. How you doing? Hey, oh, good. Man, you, got, you just crack me up every single day. There's oh, so much material every you. single day. I just listen to a little bit of your stuff. It just cracks me up. I can't stop cracking up. All right. Are you Here's being sarcastic? I heard on a recent voicemail that someone was asking about... I don't appreciate your tone. ...where the woman says, quit calling me a hobo. And I think you... Re- you commented that uh, you couldn't remember where that came from. Well, I just happened to be uh, looking at a video on YouTube. It's called The Snowplow Show, July 13th, 2014. Go suck on a lemon. And it's minute 36. And that's where the lady got really upset and just demanded that you stop calling her a hobo. Cool. So anyway, just wanted to let that, just wanted to let you know. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm not going to play that right now because, you know, I'd have to play the entire thing. And this show's already too long. But that's where it is. July 13th, 2014, the Go Suck a Lemon show. I think he said 36 minutes is where the call happens. Hey, Brad. Uh, Mr. Tomato Head here. Hey. And uh, listen, I've got a message for one of your voicemailers. I'm not sure who it was. Maybe Waste, but I don't know who it was. But the, oh, no, here it comes. Oh, no, here it comes in the big crash. I had a... Oh, that guy. My little yeah. boy just yeah. about fell out of his seat laughing. <laughs> so I'll uh, give him a give him a high five from uh, directly from Mister Tomato Head. Okay. Keep up the good work. High five, whoever left that message. I thought you were gonna say you had a little boy that got in a car wreck and died, but no, that's good to hear. Hey, Brad. Hey. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. Okay. I got um, a package in the mail. Uh, so my girlfriend for Christmas got me a, a PLA. I wanted a PLA pen, so I told her where to get it. And I actually kind of forgot about it. I actually thought that uh, it just got lost or you just kept the money like a hobo. Yeah, and, uh, I know how I do that. Yeah, just added to your list of crimes. But no, it came in the mail and it was great. Um, it turns out I, I don't steal everyone's money when they send money into me for those lapel pens. I think I did take a while to send it out though because I was out of town for an entire month. And I didn't bring any of those with me. So, sorry I took so long. Probably ruined your birthday. It was more than just the pen. It was a bunch of PLA swag. And it, it really made my day. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, wanted to call and say thanks. Pretty sweet. Um, there's You're like welcome. a sticker of, a, it's a picture of Jimi Hendrix. And it says Bob Marley underneath it. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if this I is... I think that's from Clown Sec. Real or not, but there's like a airplane ticket stub. Like... It obviously had been used, and it says your name on it. Uh, I don't know if that's it's something you'd throw away, but it's kind of a cool little memorabilia. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah. um, keep on doing what you do, man. I just pretty much give my trash out to people that order stuff from me. Uh, oh, also, if I could hear that clip of that lady that says, um, "Is this is this real life?" That would be great. Uh, that was that's my favorite clip from the show because she questions her existence. But anyways, um, love the, love the shit, man. Cactus, cactus. I don't think I know that clip. Oh, yeah, here it is. Is this real life? Is this real life? Uh, it cuts off. I'll use that one on the end of today's show so you can hear it properly. Stupid VLC media player. It's cutting it off on the end. By the way, if anyone wants any of those lapel pins to help me recover from last year's coin debacle where I lost money on that Kickstarter, I still have tons of lapel pins left. I think you can find them at phonelosers.bandcamp.com. Yep, there they are. Click on the merch section. That's the only thing for sale in there is two PLA lapel pins for 10 bucks. I'll also throw in a PLA sticker and random trash from around my room. Maybe just some little scraps of paper or something or cat hair off of the floor. You never know when you order lapel pins from me. I'll put a link to these in the show notes. They're really nice lapel pins, too. I gave them out with the coins last year. Oh, hey, uh, in my last message, I forgot to mention ah, I got a patch that you says again. COMC, and I was I Googled it, couldn't find out what it meant. Um, the only thing I came up with is says Canadian Open Mathematics Challenge, Care of Magical Creatures from Harry Potter. I don't know if it's a Harry Potter reference. Yeah. Uh, communications Controller and Conference. All right, on- yeah, it's Calls of Mass Confusion. That's Giad's uh, video show that we did last year or the year before or whenever that was video-based prank calls, which you can listen to by going to youtube.com slash Jesus and a dump truck. That's what that means. He had those made up, and then he gave me a bunch of them when Calls of Mass Confusion ended. So I've just been throwing them into people's orders when they get stuff from me. So no, it's not Care of Magical Creatures.
Uh, Break the monkey boy here. Yeah. Tell you what, man, I'm gonna jump the gun today. All right. Uh, I'm about 20, 25 minutes into your DNA show. Let's hear it. I'm gonna jump the gun and say this is gonna be one of your best shows oh man 2019 i bet you were disappointed yeah i'm laughing my ass off incest and kidney transplants it doesn't get any better than this keep can't, it up roy can't, can't go wrong Hope with incest suck from here on out we'll go back to listening but i felt like jumping gun and as always ruprecht out ruprecht away all right. Bye, Ruprecht. Glad you enjoyed that one. I think I'm done with voicemails for now. There's still a few left in here, but I'll get them on the next show. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the show today. And thanks to the sponsors of today's show, Chris J., Todd L., Gobi, I Regret Jumping, and Jason B. If you'd like to be a supporter of the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus or new project two slash phone losers, I guess. Supporting the show gets you an extra hobo sode every week. This past week, I did a 40-minute long hobo sode. You heard that clip of it on the beginning of today's show. Sometimes there's two hobo sodes a week, usually just one, sometimes two. You never know, but it's completely worth spending $5 a month on. Thanks for listening, everyone. Hopefully, I will see you in San Jose this coming weekend. But don't count on it, because I still don't know. Find out soon, I hope. Bye. You have no right to do what you're doing. You're totally... Is this your life?